Welcome to the Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and this episode is called Why I'm Thankful for the Challenges. This episode is sponsored by my book and audiobook, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. I publish both audio and video versions of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive, so take your pick. The video versions are on my YouTube channel called Benjamin Bernstein Podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for a chance to win a full year of my Awakening Plus online membership. That's a $333 value, and I announce a new winner every month. In fact, I announce our November 2023 winner later in this episode. Keep your ears peeled if you have entered. I drop new episodes of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive around the 9th and 23rd of each month. All right, so this one is called Why I Give Thanks for the Challenges, and I happen to be recording this on Thanksgiving Day, so thanks is a theme that's very strong right now. So it's easy to be thankful for the good stuff, but being thankful for the challenges can be a little trickier. What helps me is my perspective on how challenge helps me grow. We've all heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you make you stronger, and things like that. There's a wonderful Stoic motto called the obstacle is the way. But what really brings it home for me is something from the Law of One. Now, in a recent episode, I interviewed Aaron Merritt, and we went deep into the Law of One. And if memory serves, we did cover this a little bit, but I want to uh, bring this up again in case we didn't give it strong enough focus in that episode. The Law of One is a channel teaching that, for me, is the best description of the meaning of life, universe, and everything that I've ever seen. And what they say is challenge is only growth opportunity. Uh, They paint a picture of reality where there's people on two fundamental paths, service to other and service to self. Chances are very good if you're watching this podcast, you're a service to other person. That means you want everyone to come out good. You want to be in win-win transactions. Ideally, everything you do will benefit everyone involved. In contrast, a service to self person is all self-focused. They really don't care what happens to other people. They just want what they want. And other people are simply uh, expendable collateral damage. If something bad happens to them, no big deal. I don't care is the attitude of a service to self person. Apparently, there was a version of Earth prior to this one that was all love and light people. They were all service to other And the problem was Earth was such a paradise that nobody wanted to leave. And they didn't even have the veil that we have here. Here we have this veil that prevents most of us from perceiving that there's even more amazing levels of consciousness beyond this one. And at that Earth, they even knew about it. And Earth was still so sweet they couldn't be bothered to leave. It was just too pleasant, too much of a paradise. So the creator said, you know what? That's not really what I hadn't planned. I didn't really want this log jam here on earth. So next time around, let's put some dark people in there. Let's put some service to self people and let's motivate these service to other people to move along maybe a little more quickly. And that apparently is the earth we have now. So what we have is, again, according to law of one, about 90% of us are service to other. We really want to look out for everyone else as well as ourselves. In fact, most of us are are at least learning to be a little bit more concerned about others than ourselves, just maybe even just a little bit more. But then again, those 10% or so who are service to self, they're just looking for the advantage. They'll do whatever they can for their own selfish needs. And their job is to watch all these love and light people and say, how can I take advantage? What's their weakness? Where can I stick in and draw some energy from them or take advantage of them in some way? And in a way, they are our best teachers. So this is where I get around to the idea of giving thanks for the challenges. So these people challenge me. They find my weakness. They see this guy has an unhealed wound or trauma. This guy needs to develop a little more power in this area than he has. And therefore, they take advantage of that. Now, do they know that they're actually serving me in the greater scheme of things? Maybe not. It doesn't matter. But if I understand that if I get challenged, it is letting me know here's an unhealed wound or trauma. Here's a growth opportunity to step into greater power. And once I get that, I can be grateful for the challenge because once I master that, once I then get in and do some effective shadow work, some effective emotional healing on that old trauma and I get that healed up. Or if I say, okay, now I need to grow in a certain way and I need to move to the next level. And that way that dark being hassling me can't get access to me anymore because I've sealed up the opening. Then I've grown and evolved. 
And it's just too easy to swing in your hammock and be comfy and just kind of cruise in your comfort zone. I love that there's dark beings out there watching to take advantage of us light workers so that we can get the appropriate challenging catalyst that we need to take it to the next level. There may be an infinite number of awakening levels. I'm not sure there even is a final awakening. If it's an infinite universe, how could there be a final awakening? My experience has been, I've had so many of them now, and each one is even more amazing than the last. And I just love the idea of continuing to deepen that awakening process. This goes back to a topic I've discussed on previous episodes, which is the great onion of consciousness. I cover this in my book too. You've got this awakened self, your higher self, a level up from here. Your higher self is far more awakened than your human self. And your human's experience of that part of you would be bliss, ecstasy, and euphoria. And yet around this gorgeous ball of light are all these dark onion layers. And these are all the wounds and traumas you haven't healed yet. And when you get challenges, like one of those layers is getting stirred up. This is the one that holds this particular trauma. And then once again, if you have a good shadow work tool, if you have an effective technique, like my healing invocation is one of many that might help with this, you can peel that layer off once and for all. Once that layer clears, more light comes through, more energy. You have an automatic upgrade in your awakening. You go to a new wonderful baseline. Your consciousness is permanently raised. And again, there's no end to how many levels you can do this on. But had you not had the challenge in the first place, you might not have had the experience of getting through the trauma and going to the next awakening. So I'm going to be pretty concise today. I think that really covers what I wanted to talk about. If you want to learn more about the Law of One, I've linked it in the show notes. It's at lawofone.info. In fact, their entire channeling is up there for free. They also offer print books and audio books of the content as well. There's tons of YouTube videos about it. So it's pretty deep material, but if you can get your head around it, it's really mind expanding stuff. If you find it of interest, I certainly have. So anyhow, that's why I say that I am grateful for the challenges. In my experience, you know, we certainly enjoy when it's flowing and it's just easily blissful, but it's the challenge times when we're given that goad to take it to the next level. Those I, in retrospect, in my 63 years, I said, those are the times that I value most because those are the ones that cause my greatest growth. And there's a, a slingshot effect corollary. The greater the challenge that you're experiencing, the greater the slingshot opportunity where you can jump through to an even higher level. In other words, the intensity of the challenge is directly proportionate to the breakthrough that awaits you when you master it. So that's what I wanted to tell you this time. Also, did you know you can get my audiobook free on Audible if you are not yet an Audible member? The deal's even sweeter if you have Amazon Prime, then you get my audiobook and another one of your choice for free. Click the audiobook link in the show notes to take advantage of this very cool opportunity. As I mentioned earlier, my number one Amazon bestseller is called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. In this breakthrough book, learn how easy it can be to experience spiritual awakening within seconds just by requesting it from your higher self quickly and permanently heal a serious challenge, even one that's caused you years of physical, emotional, or mental suffering by delegating that work to your inner healer. You can call in any kind of energy you want, anytime you want it. You can heal and bless others simply by calling it in and being a hollow reed. You can thrive in a new normal of harmonious living, enhanced intuition, joyous fulfillment of your responsibilities, and bliss. You can do all this and more with the instant divine assistance invocations. This book gives you everything you need to master them. Plus, you get free access to guided recordings and other valuable online support that will speed up your personal evolution. For over 12 years, the IDA invocations have dramatically improved thousands of people's lives. Isn't it time you also experienced how quick and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and so much more can be? Instant Divine Assistance is available in all formats, including audiobook. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon, and you can also read it in Kindle Unlimited. Also, my Awakening Plus online membership supports your individual healing and awakening and global spiritual awakening and lets you make meaningful connections with like-minded spiritual seekers. Hundreds of satisfied members make up our supportive online community. Awakening Plus members can choose from about a dozen monthly Zoom calls. We also have a constantly growing archive of over 600 life-transforming events, just as effective in the archive as they were live, supported by an easy-to-use best-of guide. Not only that, there are three major courses so far and plenty of other benefits to help speed up your personal evolution. 
click the link in the show notes to learn more or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. Once a month, we give away a free membership, as I mentioned at the top of the show. This time, our free membership winner is Demetrius. Congratulations, Demetrius. This is the only Demetrius who has entered. So if that's you, pop me an email, benjamin at astroshaman.com, and we will get you set up with your free one-year membership. Congratulations. And to everybody, thanks for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and we are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others can also awaken, heal, and thrive. And be sure to click the link in the show notes for a chance to win one free year of my Awakening Plus online membership. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings.